Hey guys, this video is a third video in our series hashtag bare skin with Himani, right? And we're going to be getting rid of blackheads today. Blackheads, goodness. This is something I really wanted to cover for so long. I've made a couple of videos, but so many of you guys have been requesting more videos on blackheads. So here is my inexpensive and super easy DIY. The first thing you're going to do is to make sure you've applied a little bit of steam to the area. So I'm going to take a bit of hot water and cotton wool pads and apply this on the sides of my face after squeezing it out. So relaxing. It's like getting a facial. So good. If you use washcloth, you can use it on your body as well. You want to make sure that you repeat this every single time the cotton pad becomes cold and you want to do this for two minutes. Set a timer for two minutes. The next step is to mix whole wheat flour or whole meal flour which you can easily find in your supermarket in the laundry aisle. Not in the laundry aisle, <laughs> in the bakery aisle. <laughs> And then, oh, by the way, it's also called atta. It's the same flour that you make rotis out of. And then you're going to need some water, some lemon juice, which is going to be four drops, no more, guys. And then wheat germ, which you can find in your supermarket in cereal section because you can sprinkle it on top of your cereal and just stuff like that. But if you can't find that, it's totally optional. You can completely skip this step. And then you're going to make a mixture out of it, apply this on the sides of your nose or anywhere on your body where you have blackheads and then leave it on there for 10 minutes. For some reason I went in quite thick, <laughs> but you definitely want to make sure that it's not as thick as I'm applying here. Once you wait for 10 minutes, the mixture should be about 90% dry. If it's not, then you want to wait a little bit longer and then rub it off in circular motions it'll come right off. Now, two things can happen at this stage. If the blackheads are fairly new, you will find most of them, if not all, will pop out automatically because always remember, healthy skin doesn't trap blackheads. And when you apply this DIY on your skin, it almost programs your skin to be healthy. It starts to take the blackheads out on its own and you don't have to use any artificial things or scrape it out yourself, which causes scarring, by the way, so please don't do that. And then second thing can be if the blackheads have been around for quite a while, what will happen is they will start to resurface because of this DIY. Because of this, you may feel like you want to get it out, but please wait because you can apply this DIY every other day. So the next time you apply it, the chances are it'll actually come out. So every single time you apply this, it'll come right out and you'll be left with amazing skin. It's super inexpensive and such an amazing simple DIY. I hope you give this go because it is one of my favorite recipes and I really, really wanted to share this with you because you guys are my friends and I care about you. I love you so much guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my Monday, Wednesday and Friday uploads. Woohoo, it's the weekend. What's your plan for the weekend? Let me know down below. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It just helps me get the word out there so more people are able to find it and they can join our awesome community here on YouTube. <laughs> Yay! Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel and I'll see you on Monday. I love you so much, guys. Mwah. Bye! It also removes blackheads and whiteheads. It's great for acne, great for uneven skin tone and great for Oily skin, dry skin, normal. Looks like baby food. <gasps> I'm applying baby food on my face. Set a timer for two minutes. My voice sounded so nasally there. It did. Because I was like, set a timer for two minutes. I don't know what to say about this. <laughs> it looks so weird.